you write me, booker at bookerlawfirm.com. Your question ends up on the show. Bring you to the court of my public opinion. We're not going to look at this as legal advice because I don't represent you. And I may not have all of the facts that I need. However, I'm going to do the best job that I can with what I have. Without further ado, let's get it crack a lacking. Order in the court. What's up, honey? I've been a lawyer. That's Annie Alley Booker in the house. Okay, guys, so you already know what time it is. Without further ado, let's get it crack a lacking. They wrote me and they said, when will my divorce be finalized? I filed well over 20 days ago. I haven't received any information other than he hasn't responded. Not sure what my next steps are. Guys, we're going to come to the court of my public opinion. If you don't have property, you know where your spouse is, you can get them served, you can do the divorces on your own. You're going to go to, in the state of Texas, and every attorney general in every state in the United States has a duty to ensure that the constituents, the citizens of that particular state, understand the law. And things that are commonplace between individuals, constituents, or citizens of that particular state should be addressed most of the time by website for individuals who are pro se, meaning represent themselves on common issues in court. The Texas Attorney General does have that. We have websites, texasselfhelp.org, texaslawhelp.org, and you can also go to the Attorney General of Texas, their website. And these websites are maintained and put up to help pro se individuals who are going through common occurrences and court issues that are common that we just discussed, such as this one. You can go there and they'll tell you exactly what to do. But I will tell you, once you file your divorce petition, you must get the other person served or get a waiver filed. If the waiver is filed, you have to wait 45 days before you can move forward. If it is a service, then yes, it's been 20 days. But you wait the Monday after 21 days. And then you can move forward to finalize your divorce. Now, depending on the date that you file the divorce, you can never finalize a divorce. Even if you serve it the same or next day of the filing, 60 days from the date of filing. So, you benchmark. The date that your case is filed, 60 days, bop, 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 bop. You cannot get a divorce finalized before that date. Regardless of whether the waiver has been sitting there for 45 days or not, you got to get through the 60-day deadline first, okay? The way to avoid the 60-day deadline is if there's some sort of domestic violence, okay, or issues. Then you can ask the court to bypass the, the 60 days and get the divorce like that. But in this particular case, ma'am, I'm going to direct you to the pro se websites, the three that I just named, and I'm going to tell you it's going to be 21 days. Count your 21 days from the date that he is served. Make sure, okay, from the date that he is served, you go to the next Monday. And you can default him after that if it has been 60 days. I also want to say that in addition to that, there is another rule. That if you have served him and it's not a waiver of service, the waiver of service must sit for 45 days at least. Because it gives the person a chance to sign the waiver to kind of go back and say, eh, I changed my mind. I don't want to waive my rights. I want to go ahead and assert them. So it gives them some time to wait. Um, 45 days. If it is service, okay? You ready? If it is service and you've gotten service on the person, you got to get that service filed with the court, okay? Before, because the service is going to have to sit and the court must see the return of service sitting. Okay, before they will conclude the case. So, you also have to have proof that either they were served or there's a waiver filed with the court. And then once your deadlines run out, the court will see the service has been effectuated, when it was effectuated. They will see since the date of service, there has been either no answer filed or there has been an answer filed and that the court did wait 21 the Monday after 21 days from the date that the individual was served plus the 60 day deadline and they can move. Okay. So that's why I want you all to learn the rules and get on there. And I'm telling you to get on the website because you see how I just ran those rules. It was three or four rules and they all bend back on each other. Okay. You got to know that because if you go too soon, 
you can't get the divorce. They'll reset you. Then you go again and something's wrong. They'll move to try to dismiss your case. Then you have to start all over again and you don't want to do that. Make sure you read the pro se rules. Everybody, before you move forward. Next case. I made that call. I locked up the face and charges. Who's gonna fight these cases for me? I called with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713 292 2225.